Hey there folks, plus come by 51 millimeter. I'm still here at work. Um, I used some UPT unpaid time off. I did some calculations on the time calculator. Said it'd be like it'd only take two hours and five minutes, and I have four hours, so I'm I'm good. Uh, but yeah, I'm I just wore out. I clocked out at 3:25. It's 3:25. Well, no, it's probably closer to. Yeah, it's 3.32 in the morning right now. I'm just waiting for my sister to get out. Because uh, she's still got to work. Um, anyway, I figured I'd do this video real quick to uh, let you all know. It might be... I know in the last video I said it'd be a while before I upload again. But I'm... Doing an update. Uh, them guys are hollering. I don't know if he was hollering at me because I know him, but... Uh, you may not even know I'm in here, but, uh, <laughs> this is a guy I work with, but, um, I'm doing this, doing this quick update to let y'all know I've ordered a whole bunch of ammo. I've got like a hundred rounds of 308 on the way for the new M1A, and I've got some, I ordered like eight boxes of Red Army Standard. 762 by 39 for the M70, and then I got a whole bunch of M855 for the AR-15. I probably won't shoot that, though, considering Uncle Joe's gonna kick that in the ass. So, uh, just been buying some ammo, mostly. I'm still doing stuff behind the scenes. I just ain't had time to film because they started me on fluid load. And for those of you who don't know what fluid load is on Amazon, it's basically you're just loading semis. Um, you're taking the product off the line at the end. Like, because this place has like 32 doors where I work. Uh, has 32 doors, like an um, insane amount on one side, on east side. That's the side I'm on right now, east side. And then some on west side and then some in the back. And I've had to unload the ones in the back with a pallet jack before, and that's a fucking bitch. <laughs> Let me tell you. And, but, uh, they put me in fluid load last week. And I did that all last week. Loading boxes and stuff off of the line, putting it into the semi. And you gotta stack that shit all the way up to the roof, too. And you're talking about a semi that's pretty big and long, too. So they had me do that again last night, and it wore me out, so I'm, that's why I used UPT today. And I'm hoping they don't put me on it again tomorrow, because I actually got a break, and they put me on what I usually do, which is called RPND, which is receive, and like basically you're just putting the product in the totes and sending it down the line, you know, stuff like that, so. Uh, but I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm wore out, so, and it may be a while yet before I actually get back to the range to actually shoot some firearms, and I know that sucks, because I just put that AR together, and then got that new M1A, and I haven't shot either more than one time, same with my Mauser, uh, but my plate's been full, so, you know, that's just how it goes, the uh, job comes first, and making money and then you add on top of that uh more st strenuous stuff at work wears you out so that's just more downtime off or when i do well when i'm off of work i have to spend rest and to build myself back up so it's just like a never-ending cycle of just having the <laughs> you know go, go to work come home rest weekend hits my days off hits I'm just too tired to do anything, so that's where I'm at right now. Uh, and I do have a slew of other videos that I intend to upload, but uh, or have been needing to upload. I just haven't got to them yet for the reasons I'm saying right now. So, uh, but in the meantime, yes, I do have some more ammo on the way, and I will try to get the videos that I've got, like in storage, uploaded. So, uh, I'm going to try and find the footage of when I painted the M70 ZPAP and merge it with the footage of me painting the M1A Scout Squad. 
so I can like do, do just one big video and have it uploaded. And then uh, I still ain't painted the Black Rain Ordnance AR yet, so I'm debating on the color I want to paint yet. It's the thing though. And I'm really, really debating if I'm going to paint the Black Rain Ordnance AR if I want to go ahead and just get the quadrille I want to put on it and then paint it. Or, well, I guess that would make more sense. You know, take get the quadrille I want for it, put that on it, put all the furniture I want on it first, and then paint it. Because if I painted it and then wanted to add more furniture to it, you know, I'd be having to take stuff back off, paint it individually, or, you know. So, okay, I, I talked myself into the waiting on that. So. <laughs> uh, and my Mauser, my M24, my Yugo M24, uh, I've got a quite a bit of ammo bought for it. I bought, got a bunch of Greek and Egyptian surplus. Along with that cellar and bellet stuff that I ran through it initially, I just haven't had... I'm wanting to make it a scout rifle. Like, I have a long eye relief scope on it. But, um, I just haven't got... Other stuff have gotten the way, like the AR and the new M1A and stuff like that. So, um, I'll get back to it, but uh, I need to get reloading dies and make a cleaning kit for the corrosive ammo because I don't want the board to rust out of it, so... Uh, just got a lot going forward and you know a lot of going on like I said last video my plate is full so stay with me I'll get it all up and I'll get things rolling when the you know when things slow down here at the workplace so anyway until the next video guys I'll catch you all in the next one peace